Hot Wheels and Niche have just dropped some big DLC in the Hot Wheels Pass Volume 2. I'm going to check it all out so you guys can decide whether you want to buy it or not. So we start with the Hot Wheels Street Fighter Vega, which looks very nice, I can't lie. We move on to Skater's Customization Pack. It looks okay, just obviously if you are into customizing your basement, then this is for you. The Gorilla Module now. Going by the trailer, I'm pretty sure it knocks down one side, so it blocks it completely off. If you go that way, you're just going to get smacked straight into a wall. That's going to be a pretty cool uh, module to test out. But next we have the 2014 Corvette stingray convertible which looks very nice and the big big car from this is the senna if this is a letdown i'm gonna be so depressed now i'm gonna test out each car on the track and we can see if it's a good car or not whether you should buy it or maybe you should skip it and then we're also gonna jump into the new module and check out how that works all right this car is so cool it looks so sleek it's almost like having a third formula one car now obviously it's at legendary and on extreme difficulty so we can see how good and how much we can push the car so i think it has a smaller boost blip i think what I just mounted that car. Oh, I mounted him again. Oh my god. Death. Alright, well that's not gonna count because we need to give them all fair runs. I was gonna actually make this a carvy carvy car, see which one's the quickest, but they're kind of different. This is a Street Fighter car. We can put okay, well, yeah, there you go. Green boost uh, fills up the boost bar on this. But yeah, so obviously this is a Street Fighter, then we have a convertible. And then we have a Senna. Like, I don't think it's gonna be fair. I think the Senna is gonna destroy these cars. But we can see anyway, I won't hide the time, so we can just check. But what I wanted to do was maybe put the Senna against Superman or Patrick and this Street Fighter car against maybe another Street Fighter or even Wonder Woman-ish because I feel like it's gonna be similar to that car. For, I don't know why, I just I just have that inkling. Or maybe one of the Formula One cars because that would be cool. We can have all three against each other. But so far, this feels like a good car. This is on extreme, like I kid you not. I will show you guys at the end of this episode, at the, well, at the end of this race that it's on extreme difficulty. I, I've just played this game enough now that I know how to beat AI. Especially uh, now that I've raced in uh, Mr. Crux's racing discord as well. Because that was competitive, yet quite fun. Alright, we messed that turn. Doesn't really matter. We're not going for times here. Just want to make sure we can get a first place. And that shows that this car is quite good. Now, if I review it, I would say speed is okay. It does feel like it drops off as soon as you let go of boost. Look, just kind of slows down instantly. Now, the handling of the car is actually very good. Doesn't feel like it's heavy. It feels light. You can easily throw it into uh, drifts which is also another good thing. Stability, same. It's just, it's a good car all around. It doesn't feel the quickest, but it does feel like a very good usable car. Wait, I mean, that's good. It, I, like, usually they bring out cars, and that the car is usually the best, the quickest, the most overpowered. But, I mean, we may see that with the Senna. This is just a good all-around car. I mean, this one did feel a little slow, but even then, it got a time of 32.654, which I'm pretty sure beats Squidward's time. I think it beats Sandy Cheeks if I didn't do that repeat time so i mean it's still pretty good all right now we got the corvette stingray statistics look good three boost blips let's see if this car is gonna be quicker than the other one shout outs from the last video will be up on screen here congrats if you got a shout out now if you want a shout out in the next episode all you have to do let me know if you've tested these cars let me know which one's your favorite and also if you like the new module i haven't tested it yet i didn't get perfect start but that's not to worry i feel like this is gonna be a good car what the hell happened to that car next to me yeah Perfect, what a drift. I was literally sideways around that whole bend. Oh, look at how close I was to the wall as well. This is amazing. I think this is gonna be quicker. For some reason, I always find that boost blips seem to have quicker times than the boost bars. But saying that, I don't feel like this was as clean a lap because you can't get full control of the car when you have boost blips as you can see you have to literally uh, see out the whole boost rather than oh i didn't show you guys that it was on extreme don't worry i, I will uh, show you guys as soon as i jump out of this one because it's still the same distance that i've made from these guys behind if it's not on extreme that's going to be so awkward because i literally remember in my head putting it onto extreme so if it's not it's going to be quite annoying oh there we go all right this, this is still looking good if I have to uh, review this car for you guys, it's similar to the other one, it's just, it feels a little quicker, so with that boost blip, you can't control yourselves out of turn sometimes, so you do hit the wall more often than you would with a boost bar, because you get that less control, but the handling and stability is still very similar. Speed, I don't know, if I'm honest, it feels quicker, it, like genuinely feels quicker, however, it may just be a case of what looks slow is quicker. Like with the last car, if you get what I'm saying, it was, it felt slow, but it was actually quite quick. This 
as you can see, is hitting a lot more of the walls. That may just be because of how I'm driving, but we'll have to see if this is quicker than the other car. And it actually is by 0.400. I mean, it says it all, really. I, I thought it was quicker, and it literally is. Hot Wheels, please can you make it so that we can dismantle multiple cars at once? Because this gets very frustrating, and I was running out of gears, and I had to individually sell everything one by one, and that was very annoying. But we're probably moving on to the most anticipated car of the three, the Senna. It looks beautiful. I don't know why. They gave it this color. I mean, I, I'm thinking of the blue mainly because of Forza. I feel like that would have been maybe a nicer color, you know? But either, oh my God, I just saw the stats for this. If this isn't rapid, putting up the best times, I'm gonna be so upset with them, like I said. Oh, just quickly, I literally haven't changed it. I have all the footage if you guys want the full part of it, but it'll get boring because you just hear nothing other than me scrolling through the screens but there we go extreme this car does look very nice oh my god this has to be rapid now obviously i wasn't gonna do a video today i'm very tired just got back from uni and then i had to go out and get some extra things and obviously thursday is a day where i usually don't post but they dropped new dlc you know i was like you know what i have to cover this for you guys because you guys are the real ones you know i gotta keep you guys updated with this game keep you guys oh my god updated on the cars so you guys can decide whether or not you want to buy these cars. And uh, I would say yes. In my opinion, I would say yes. Very good. And I think the new module is actually going to be quite cool. Because it's nothing overpowered. It's just something cool. Like, similar to how Joker works, really. It ha uh oh I couldn't really control that there. That felt very weird. This is quick, though. This car is quick. If I don't beat the uh, Corvette, this is going to look very embarrassing. But yeah, because one way will be blocked off and the other way uh, will be open, obviously, and it will just keep rotating like the Joker does. It should be pretty cool. I wonder if it does it one by one or if it's completely random. Because that way it will make it harder to judge, you know what I mean? Rather than making it too easy like with Joker, you can kind of judge the swinging hands. But even then, that does get quite difficult. So I wonder if they're going to make it random. If they do, I feel like that's better. So say right side's blocked off then it goes back to level and then it does right side again because people will think it's gonna go left it'll just be a cool way to keep things random like really and if someone's too far ahead they can mess up on that and let other people catch up and make for more exciting races but i haven't really reviewed the car to be honest i feel like the video is just literally doing that itself because i'm so far from the ais right now look there's none there and this car does not want to slow down like i'm throwing it into every wall as quick as i can and it's just putting up with it. That car is amazing. Senna is going to destroy these cars. I'm pretty sure we beat the time. 32-3-10. Oh, that's embarrassing. All right, well, let's just pretend that the Senna was quicker. I don't know why I couldn't beat it. Maybe I did beat it. I don't remember what I got in the Stingray. I did hit a lot more walls because this car was extremely quick. So I, obviously that's going to take away from time. If you do cleaner laps, then obviously you're going to get a quicker time. So uh, yeah, take that how you will. All right, well, we have jumped into this track builder where we've now got the Gorilla module out here somewhere. You guys can see here it is. And yep, it works just as the track. Wait, I think that was random. I'm pretty sure it was random. But yeah, look, it did right like two times there. Is it going to switch to left? I'm just keeping an eye on it. If I come back around, is that going to switch to the left now? Is that literally just staying right? It's still right. Wait, it's still right. Okay, let's just let's just give it a second. Let's see if he wants to uh, move. Okay, so it was right, then left. Is he going to do left again or maybe right? Okay, now it seems to be one after the other. Okay, well, that's very confusing because at one point it was literally just right, but then the other it wasn't. Well, there we go. That was the DLC. In my opinion, that's actually a fun little DLC that they've added in. This car's good. This is just pretty cool. You guys can make some pretty cool things mixing this with SpongeBob into the other side. The module is quite cool. For now, I think it's random, but then it started to do one after the other. So I think it depends on who's where and how many cars are there or something. I'm not too sure because as soon as I passed it, it just kept doing the one side. But then this car, I don't know why, but I think was quicker than the center. But like I said, I hit more walls with the center because that car was rapid. But obviously you guys can test it out for yourselves, see which one you prefer. But as a whole, I would recommend this DLC they've dropped is actually quite fun and everything in there is actually usable. So leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.